here's some interesting facts. I didn't realize all the different things that xylitol can actually do. Of course, I'm here joined by our dentist hygienist, that's the correct pronunciation, yep, I hope, yes. <laughs> and Candace, how are you today? I'm doing well. So you. let's talk teeth and bacteria. I didn't realize with when you have bacteria it causes a cavity and you can pass it on from family member to family member. How does that work? Yeah, a lot of people don't recognize that cavities are actually transmissible disease and mm -hmm. we're just passing them back and forth. When babies are born they don't have any bacteria and they studies found even if their dad's their primary caregiver that they have their mom's bacteria because we tend to do things like blow on their food, yeah. kiss them more, share spoons, <laughs> and that and kind of thing. So basically, but what about the rest of the family? Do the rest of the family get that bacteria as well? Because it yeah. doesn't matter what age you are, you are no, still sharing that bacteria. We're still passing the bacteria, and um, the bacteria that cause cavities, namely the streptococcus mutans, can be mm -hmm. just passed and passed. It's what, but when it goes airborne, so when it's on the spoon, and it's on the you know mashed pumpkin, does it not die from the, the atmosphere, it just, it's no, a bacteria, it just no, keeps going. It keeps so going. Do, do mums need to worry about breastfeeding? It's obviously not that way. Nope, it's through the mouth, the transmission. Yeah, oral perfect. Transmission. I want to talk quickly about the good news and how we can actually fix those issues. So let's through, run through some of the products. You were saying something about if you do cleaning or cleansing your teeth and mouthwash five times a day. Go that Go through that with me. So xylitol is a 100% natural sweetener. Mm -hmm. It's found in fruits, different fruits, strawberries, yep. blueberries, um, birch pulp, even your body makes xylitol. Mm -hmm. And they found that when mothers, all people, but when mothers, um, I told my patients to strive for five. So when they had five to 10 grams of xylitol five times a day, that their children had a 70% reduction in cavities. Wow. Because they weren't passing the bad bacteria to their children. Okay. When we consume xylitol, it has five carbon units yes. instead of six carbon units, so the bacteria in your mouth can't process it. Wow. And it slowly the bacteria just starts to die off. So this is more about prevention, isn't it? Right. So what are the, some of the things that when you say active five times a day, what do you mean by that? For what I do and I suggest my patients do is I brush with the xylitol toothpaste. It has to be 100% xylitol for the mm -hmm. benefits twice a day and use the mouthwash and then I just simply pop gum or mints in after every meal. Well, I chew these all day right. and they're brilliant. So brushing and mouthwashing twice a day, as we should anyway, right. and then you're chewing the gum. What's the one of the other things that you can do as well? Um, with my, ch I have a one-year-old and a newborn. We use the, the gel twice a day and oh. then after every meal I give him some of the candy and he loves it. Does he? And um, my what, newborn... What, how does the gel work? Tell me how that... It's um, on I just a brush toothbrush, it on. you mean? Right, oh. brush it on, or they have this, but it changes the bacteria so that hopefully he won't get any cavities. And then also for my newborn, I use the nasal spray. Yes. And they show that if you use a nasal spray at every diaper change, they'll have a 93% reduction in cavities, which is Seriously? huge. Seriously? Is that because of the product of xylitol, the it, ingredient? Because it changes the bacteria, and oh. so the bacteria that cause these different infections aren't there, and we only have good bacteria there. Okay, so tell me, Candace. What is xylitol? Let's break that down. What is it? Like I said before, it's a natural sweetener mm -hmm. that is found in fruits and vegetables in your body. And um, when we use it, it, the bacteria in your mouth can't process it, so it changes the bacteria. But it's been around for 50 years. We use it in cooking. It looks and tastes just like... Can I have a taste? Yes, taste it. Yeah. So Yum. It looks and tastes just like table sugar. It you does. You can use it in cooking. It has 40% less calories <coughs> and a glycemic index of 7 instead of 73, so it's great for diabetics. Well, we've actually had xylitol on before, as you know, and we've cooked with it. You can't taste the difference, mm -mm. you know, so it doesn't lessen the sweetener. It doesn't taste any different from when the normal, you know, when you use those artificial sweeteners right. and they have that funny aftertaste. Right. We don't get that with xylitol. Whereabouts do we buy all these products from? Xylitol can be purchased at health food stores online or Dr. Gunnarsson's office in mm -hmm. case and carries a product, make sure that it's 100% xylitol. In order to get the benefits, they've done thousands of studies, it has to be 100% xylitol. Right. So look for xylitol in the first three ingredients and strive for five. So five to ten grams, five times a day for five minutes each. So suck on the mints for five minutes, chew the Good gum for, for five you. minutes. for you. Well, we're always chewing something, aren't we? <laughs> and this thing's coming in. Hey, you can check out where you can get all these great products from Xylitol on our webpage at abc4.com forward slash GTU, and we will link you to their webpage as well. Glenn, 
Have you got some gum? I can always use some gum. Exactly.